welcome to IDSV Technology. This is Vivek. So, this is the another session related to five. In session number five, we have part five, the final key weeks. We have interview questions. So, let's start our today's discussion. So, one thing is we have. So, now we move with the first question related to. Package first question that the ready to package. It is mandatory to import java.lang package in pre time in by default. It will be loaded internally. When you import same package or classes twice in your class, when you import same package or class twice in your class, if you import same package multiple times in a class. Compiler include it only once, so neither JVM or no compiler give an array any error or warning including a package multiple times. If you have two classes with the same name, then you may get name reason of importing the same error in your list. JVM generally use the class only once. What is the attack of info? What is that static import? Static import is also. The static import is similar to normal import declaration. Normal, normal import always used to import class from package without using package qualifiers. The static import allows to import a static number from a class without using class qualifiers. Without using class qualifiers. What is the difference between import static com dot test dot foo class and import com dot foo class? First import is the static import and the second import is the normal import class. First import always used to import static number of it. Internalization. Next question of internalization. What is local Java? So, local object represent a specific geographical, political, or cultural region. It is used to local sensitive operations in Java. It has is allowed following the local convenience of a country, native, or region. Each convenience can be can be for formatting the dates, money, number. How will you use a specific local in Java? To use a specific local, we need to load the load the local. We can use Resource bundle dot get bundle like local dot ek rather to load the loop. Serialization. What is the serialization? Serialization is the process converting an object into byte. This byte array represents the class. Version and internally state internal state of the object. JBM can use this byte array to transmit or read object over the network. So what is the purpose of serialization? Yes. Some of the normal common communication first is the some of the systems, hashing and cross JBM synchronization. It is used to transmitting, it is used to transmitting an object over network between two machines. And persist, uh, persistence, we can store the objects state in database and retrieve if we from the database later on. Caching. Serialization can be used for caching to improve the performance. Uh, we may need 10 minutes to build an object, but it may take just 10 seconds to deserialize the object. Most JVMs in my It can be used. In the same way, across the multiple GBM that follow the different aspects. What is the deserialization? Deserialization is the process of the reconstructing 
the object from the serialization state. It's the reverse process. Now, next question is related to here. Our first question, I mean, the second question is related to here. So, अगर जावा आपको समझ आ रही है तो मैंने क्वेश्चन समझ लिया मेरा पता है यहाँ पे क्वेश्चन ये तो जस्ट तो जो नॉलेज पर पता है मैंने आंसर राइट करा कि मुझे मेरा भी इन मोटिव आपको क्वेश्चन है तो थिंक योर सेल्फ एंड ट्राई टू गिव आंसर इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू गिव द आंसर देन यू कैन रीड दिस सेंटेंस what is serialization and deserialization? Conceptually, serialization is to convert object to byte array, like a stream, a stream of bytes. Deserialization is convert stream of bytes back into the copy of the original object. Why do we mark the data member with transient? Transient key marker. Member variable of an object are marked transient. Mark transient to negate transient to negate uh, that they should not be serialized. During serialization process, the transient variable are not considered part of the persistent state of an object. During serialization process, transient variable are not considered part of the persistent state. If you want to store the like uh, password, you want to save in that database, then you can be here as a persistent. It is allowed to mark as method as transient. No, Java does not allow make marking, making the method as a transient. The transient keyword is valid only for where it members are valid. How does making a field as a transient make it? Possible to see lines and object. Let's say we have a class A B C that implements serializable interface, but it contains a member variable object of a class X Y Z that does not implement a serializable interface. Due to this, it is not possible to serialize the A B C. To solve this issue, we can mark the member variable X Y Z as a transient in class A B C. This will be allow us to serialize the class ABC. Understand the scenario? I think one more time we can read it. It's easy example I have given. Let's say we have a class ABC that will implement the serializable interface, which it contain the member variable object of a class XYZ. That does not implement it. That's why they do not implement the serializable interface. Due to that, it's not possible to serialize ABC. That's why they do not do it. So, skip the list of ABC serialized names. To solve this issue, we mark the member variable XYZ. That's why Z will remember the variable as a transient in the class ABC. Remember something, it's a transient class. That's why it's not part of that. You can easily. This is that meaning. What is externalizable interface in the externalizable interface extend the serializable interface in Java? It is used for is used for used for giving the class control over saving and restoring the contents of its instance. If class implements method, write external. Read external to store and restore the object. What is the difference between serializable and uh, Externalizable interface. Serializable is marked interface, but externalizable is not marked interface. Serializable is marked and we know the marker interface in the PC. Don't have an interface. Externalizable have the read and write method. That's why 
in case of externalizer we have we use the read external and write external method to give the control class for the classes serializable process a serializable interface is used for recursive algorithm serializable give you two options one option is to provide custom way to serialization another default way to external externalizable you have to always implement read external and write external method to public own argument question will be the value to observe to be serializable we need to define serial version void if it is not actually still define it will generate it automatically based on all the fields method already reflection we have some question on the reflection what is the reflection in java so reflection in java language ability to impact and dynamically call the methods which is good thank you at the right time it helps in examine or modifying the run time behavior of a class that term what are the use of what are the use of reflection here what is the use of reflection at any time very important reflection is often used in testing debugging and integrated development environment ID. reflection allow me to write programs that do not have no everything at compiled it may program more dynamic things they can be tied together at run time many modern frameworks like spring etc use reflection some modern language like python that also use reflection java api for xml parsing there speed also use reflection how can we access how can we access private method of class from outside of the class we can use reflection to access private method of a class from outside of the class in java we can use we can use get declared method to get the instance of a private method then we mark this method accessible and finally invoke it in the find in the following sample code you can see here massive we have an uh, full class in like private method with system runner the file this is the set and import the java dot reflection full method call the published environment we have thrown that the thing to ask that for me who is the class right get the class object in the object we get it c dot get declared method masses are right? body one in it will set m dot index so suppose it's the two then Our next is by using a uh, reflection API. By reflection API, one can get the clear, the clear bit. Uh, how can we create an object dynamically at runtime? We can use reflection to create an object dynamically at runtime. We can use uh, class dot new stars constructor dot new stars method for the creating such object. New stars. And the time of runtime we create. Now next, what is garbage collection in Java? Java has an internal mechanism. Java has an internal mechanism for garbage collection to reclaim reclaim the memory of unused project at runtime. Garbage collection is also known as the automatic memory. Now this is the last question. So this okay. And we will meet next session. Okay. Uh, okay, right. uh, right. 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 Yes. So now this is some good. Uh, up to this we covered like hundred percent, right? So thank you. We will meet next another question.